Alright. Assalamu uh, alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh one more time and uh, let's uh, start this uh, class inshallah which is the political thinking introduction to political thinking and Islamic perspective. Uh, I could see participating in this class now uh, 64 uh, we should be almost uh, double or triple this uh, size this uh, the people who registered for this course and just a brief uh, one more time all the lectures will be on Moodle uh, there are 120 have been registered to Moodle if you cannot uh, log in i know uh, some of you have logged in i have seen quite few uh, who have logged in and have uh, checked the model that's where i will be putting my uh, lectures uh, and uh, uh, that's where uh, some uh, the videos uh, they will be both on youtube and also of course a link i will provide a link on uh, model so you will be able to uh, uh, to review uh, this course uh, it's very condensed course uh, it's only five weeks I know it uh, probably we need more time but I will try to uh, cover as much as possible then we can schedule maybe some uh, another uh, uh, another session for this course or let's call it uh, uh, political thinking too all right uh, some of you in fact quite few have already uh, taken my course which was uh, I think two years ago uh, July 2021 that's when we had the previous course it, it was on uh, thinking in general uh, we'll focus on political thinking and Islamic perspective and I'm pretty sure that many uh, would always probably would think that this will be mostly focused on political analysis uh, how to become a real uh, political analyst uh, which is really uh, political analysis is, uh, is a small part of the course because the question comes always why do I need the political analysis it is for the political perspective of Islam so that's what we, I will be focusing on what is political what's not political so this is uh, quick here uh, this is the uh, syllabus let me go over the syllabus the syllabus now it's on uh, let me uh, take this as just one second okay uh, and I will have to share the screen uh, more so I have to oh my screen is not being shared correct it's a new share okay okay so now uh, you can see my uh, word document which is called political thinking and Islamic perspective the syllabus can we see that uh, we can see the slide the no presentation slide. what now not the document uh, it's still showing the slide should be visible on your screens I could see it on my other screen Can anybody see it? So Rahma says yes. Okay. Yeah, it has the name, uh, the political thinking. It's over here. That's what it says. Uh, syllabus. So this is the syllabus. Yeah, doctor, I think uh, we'll need to click on the screen sharing and then select okay. the window with the document. So let me take your advice. 
and share how about now yes we can see it now okay good great okay so this is the uh, syllabus the course breakdown uh, this course introduces the method of political thinking uh, which is required for Muslim who will assume political positions okay that's important uh, I don't think every Muslim needs to be a political thinker but anyone who would assume a political position in the sense that we are talking about uh, is required uh, so we'll take about the talk about the objective is to enable the learner to understand the principles of political thinking using specific examples of course so I will be using specific examples which cover several uh, state policies note that I immediately jumped into policies because policies are the result of political thinking so we will be covering the political thinking related to economic policy how can we produce thoughts on economic policy on the ruling policy foreign affairs policy education policy and political analysis all of these are the outcome of political thinking so the so we will have to practice political thinking by uh, looking at uh, how we can produce policies in order to run and conduct the affairs of Muslims and by the way political thinking is defined as the methodology the methodology for conducting the affairs of people in the best manner possible based on the Aqeedah of Islam that's the Islamic political thinking is based on the Aqeedah of Islam the capitalist political thinking is based on capitalism and so on uh, our method in this class will be provided we'll use interactive videos I will all the videos which I will record uh, we will uh, uh, make these videos uh, uh, available and I will make them interactive I will pose some questions or maybe some uh, 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 some uh, request to make some maybe some uh, uh, paper analysis or to do some uh, to provide me with some uh, uh, more uh, on these on the issues which are discussed within the uh, the video uh, there is there is will be a certificate for those who attend the course and uh, go through the interactive videos and at least do something there to to see that you have uh, the brothers and sisters were able to get out of this course as much as possible so we'll provide this certificate and uh, I think we will have it signed by the Islamic Oasis uh, some of the reference books uh, thinking by uh, Taqid Din Nabhani Islamic thoughts by Muhammad Ismail uh, the optimal political economic economy by uh, Abdul Rahman Al Maliki. I'm not sure if these are translated. I somebody told me that there are translations for these. Hopefully, we'll uh, uh, provide the links for them. But th I have the link for the, uh, this book. And there is a logic by Wilfred Hodges. This is just to show how other people talk about uh, thinking and various types of thinking. Our learning outcomes will be to know the proper definition of what political thinking is. Uh, we will learn the uh, different types of political thinking uh, outcomes, as I mentioned, economy, ruling, education, foreign policies, and how to conduct political analysis. And uh, when I talk about this, we will uh, get a specific uh, examples to go through how I can understand, let's say, what's going on now in, uh, like, what, what has happened in Russia in the last couple of weeks with the, uh, uh, with the Wagner group going against Putin or maybe the Ukraine or maybe Palestine 
or maybe any current event that is that will be happening at the time when we talk about this issue so we'll try to make it as live as possible hopefully it will be beneficial uh, this is the breakdown of the course so today I am doing the introduction about what is thinking this is uh, a little bit of a repetition of what or summary of what I have done in the last course then I will go into political thinking and political thinking versus political analysis what's the difference then I will talk specifically about economic policy which are the political thoughts for achieving the objectives of economic system quite often we talk about the economy it's uh, excellent it's absolutely superb but what is the method what's the policy uh, what are the thoughts involved in achieving the objectives ruling system the ruling system of Islam we always say this is the most uh, just system but then the question comes in how do we make that happen we know throughout the history of Islam there were lots of caveats where justice or fairness uh, were uh, in shortage and that's not a result or a consequence of the, of the political system itself it is a consequence of the political thoughts behind the implementation of the ruling system policies uh, and to keep those in uh, intact same about education policy uh, there is no doubt that we have an extremely excellent uh, education system that can bring personalities which are very productive personalities such that no one would be left behind but what are the policies needed to make that happen uh, and then we'll talk about the political analysis note that we have only five lectures because we have only five weeks we will see how we can later on start our second course to uh, to go on farther in detail so this is the syllabus that we will be uh, running uh, throughout this uh, short course which as I said five lectures uh, each one is almost uh, two hours uh, and uh, uh, to make the uh, this more productive I would ask that if you have questions on specific issues uh, write them on the chat at the end of the class I will take all these questions I will summarize them and then I will answer them and uh, post them on Moodle so that we will not we will save this uh, uh, golden time if you will because it's very scarce to present the material uh, unless there is something very urgent uh, you can uh, raise your hand and I think the moderator we have a moderator here will allow you to speak uh, uh, based probably you, uh, someone is going to be watching the chats I, I will not be able to watch the chats while I am speaking so I hope brother Zain he is with us here he will be able to watch the chats if he sees there is something urgent he can poke me to talk about it otherwise as I said uh, I will attend to these notes right after the lecture post them on uh, Moodle so everybody can uh, see them in writing and then we will uh, the group the uh, uh, interaction uh, in the, the uh, whatsapp group or community can also be used but I would rather to post the comments so they will be uh, there always even for the next classes so that's where I will be posting my uh, lectures now final note if you are unable to log in to Moodle uh, I have posted the link uh, several times I will post it again uh, here on the uh, chat group let me see if I can do that now as I am uh, talking
ويكم شات So this is the uh, link I put it on chat. Now what you should do, uh, let me actually do one more thing here and for the view let me stop share and then share again. Let me share my screen. Okay, so this is the uh, uh, CCT e-learning available courses this is the login stuff here and uh, let me log out from my session uh, I'm the admin I'm not going to log in as the admin actually I will log in as one uh, of you who have not logged in yet but I will not choose Okay. Okay. This is my courses. This is the course. And I will check my participants and I will pick someone uh, who is here okay let me take this uh, Fozia Ayub okay I will check the profile I can do that because I'm the one who creates the profiles so here is the login name note that the login name is a small letter of your first name if your first name does not work uh, especially if your name is Muhammad because there are so many Muhammads and there are quite few uh, Samia uh, so I made Muhammad one two three four uh, if uh, you cannot log in with your first name just send me the message and I will uh, make sure that uh, or at least I will let you know what name you should be using so let me uh, get out from here log out from my account I will log in with this is Fozia or Fozia and the password which is the generic for everybody it's called change at one two three I hope this will not fail me okay it did work so I will never so here once you log in once you log in you will use your current password which is change me or change uh, sorry change at one two three so that's change at one two three and please pay attention to this the password must have at least eight characters at least one digit at least one lowercase letter at least one super k uppercase letter and at least one special character such as star uh, dash uh, pound or at or something of these symbols so these are requirements quite often you will not be able to uh, the password will not be accepted because of that I'm not going to log in as Fawziya let her do that herself and here it says you must change your password to proceed because everybody has the same password so I, I made this as <coughs> okay I see that uh, Aman Jilani says don't know how to do that I just did that again you will have uh, your uh, if you registered or you sent me your uh, credentials I think I remember that I added you so your name is there uh, again one more time uh, let me uh, get out of here 
and I don't want to save the changes leave log out so I logged out from there again as admin and I can see I want to again check the name of the person who has just said you cannot log in this is my admin so not everybody will see these you cannot see you cannot see the emails of one another you cannot see the accounts of your friends or colleagues or brothers or sisters uh, let me see Gilani. ah here is Amin Sufyan Gilani. edit profile your login is Amin small letters these are the logins so I will use this as a login and I will log out as Muhammad and I will log in as Amin and this password again change at one two three ah invalid login uh, probably that's why you complained I will check the uh, your problem after the class or this problem after the class and see why it's not accepting it uh, or maybe I did something wrong here just one more time change at one two three no well, there is something wrong here uh, so anyone who cannot log in just like I now I could not log in as uh, I mean Gilani uh, I will fix that after the class and uh, quite few of you have talked to me about their accounts and I was able to fix them so don't worry about that just let me uh, send me the note and I will stop sharing the model now now of course once you go there it's self-explanatory uh, let me log in as admin my courses this is the Islamic political here is I have announcements whenever I have announcements they will be here this is link to videos from previous thinking class if you are interested uh, and there is the syllabus which I just looked at it now and here is week one which I will provide now this lecture which I will be talking about today I will it will be here and the video uh, recorded video will be here on week one all of these weeks will be added one by one okay uh, let me stop the share here and I want to share my lecture now again and go to my class all right so uh, now you can see my screen again my PowerPoint can I get a yes for the screen okay fine good yes thank you yes so now let me uh, I talked about the reference books already uh, and the my first introduction probably many of you have uh, read the book or may uh, some of you may have not about the uh, uh, book of tafkir or thinking uh, which is which was written by Sheikh Taqiyuddin Nabhani okay. but here I will be brief on many of these issues so uh, the human or the insan we always call him as a thinking procedure a thinking creature that's one way to distinguish the human being from other creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are thinking entities uh, and the man or uh, I'm sorry to use the word man made human because some people now will criticize us as being chauvinist and uh, this is really the uh, the English literature and culture it's not the Islamic or Arabic in uh, in our 
terminology we always use al insan we don't use rajul or the man this is borrowed from the uh, from the uh, english latin uh, productions if you can and this is part of the thinking by the way when you see something that's odd or it may provoke your thoughts it provokes my thought always that all of these human entities are direct derivative of the word man like human woman man so this is all derivative from this in in the islamic culture which is revealed in arabic it is the insan uh, rather than uh, human or man so anyway i will be using the word insan quite often but here for now made human the preferred entity on earth and this is in Surah Al-Baqarah where Allah Azza wa Jal says وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا He taught Adam the names and then he challenged the angels, the malaika uh, with this piece of knowledge of the ability to accumulate information and use the information not only to remember it, to memorize it uh, but to be able to use this as a uh, uh, a, a step forward for producing thoughts so now uh, the knowledge which we have today we talk about AI artificial intelligence and people are being afraid of AI artificial intelligence artificial intelligence it is a knowledge which has been produced as a product of thinking the people in San made the thoughts and generated the AI, the GPT, the uh, uh, robots, all of this type of interactive learning uh, products these days. So knowledge is the product of thinking. It's not thinking and we'll see now why I'm mentioning this. And uh, people quite often are interested in the product of thinking more than the thinking itself. Now that's the general people, general. Uh, but in reality, uh, we say that without thinking and the thinking procedure, you cannot produce and bring products of thinking. So today when we talk about political thinking, I need a political thought in understanding the foreign relations so I can take a stand one way or another. Now, this has to be based on... Uh, someone has to do a thinking but if you cannot think or if you don't know the procedure of thinking you will not be able to produce thoughts whether in AI, whether in computer science, whether in engineering, whether in uh, p policy making etc. And of course when people they fail to understand the reality of thinking and the reality of mind if you will then we will not be able to produce product of thinking uh, in, a, in a valid, correct manner. So we will end up with wrong thoughts or incomplete thoughts or irrelevant. You may bring a, a thought process for something that's not related to your problem. And that's, of course, uh, depending on how you, uh, you, you produce this, uh, this thought. Now, while people started playing with this thinking in order to produce different types of knowledge, uh, there are different styles which were generated throughout the history of mankind. Uh, the logics, they were introduced by Greek philosophers and they made foundations of logic and it's, it's a means, it's, it's a style, it's a means of producing thought. It's called logic. Uh, scientific methodology this is a style also uh, of uh, generating thoughts and which was uh, very prominent and it led to what is called the industrial uh, revolution so it's not something that we can ignore uh, scientific methodology or method of thinking is a valid thinking but it is restricted to certain area of knowledge. It's not comprehensive, but it's, uh, it's a valid one. Uh, 
uh, and it did produce a, a, a wealth of knowledge as I was mentioning artificial intelligence is one of them uh, in uh, industrial revolution current digital revolution and so on so uh, but it failed to provide accurate understanding of the reality of thinking because uh, it just focused on the scientific method and then people in fact started using the scientific method uh, sometimes for political uh, thoughts or for uh, socio-economic thoughts and that was a grave mistake and they failed to distinguish between the thinking process and the mind what is thinking process and what is the mind and so on so that's some quick remarks here and uh, here uh, I will introduce a model of knowledge what I am interested in is in this uh, box right here which is knowledge that's what is that's what we use in our daily life knowledge that's what so if I know physics I can deploy it in order to to build some machines or uh, uh, some uh, some tools that enable us uh, let's say to raise uh, very heavy uh, metallic objects using cranes and the crane is based on the uh, laws of physics and the laws of physics are based on understanding of how material interacts matter interacts with uh, itself and other objects so that knowledge allows us to build high-rise building because we have that's what we are interested in but this knowledge comes from a certain methodology of thinking you have to produce thoughts that give you the knowledge and this thinking requires the mind not only the brain and I will explain the difference there is a mind which is really a thinking mechanism that will use a certain methodology that will produce the knowledge the knowledge now comes back in a cycle be, is used again in the same method to generate yet more and more knowledge and we have seen how knowledge is accumulative it comes in first you produce uh, a piece of uh, knowledge then you use that knowledge again it becomes your previous your standard of knowledge it becomes a standard you use it to produce more and so on and initially this is the info there is something called the info here okay which is the information that is just a raw data or raw information when I tell you my name is Muhammad or my uh, general title which I go by is Abu Talha so this goes to your mind you use it as an information now your mind starts correlating this to people that you uh, know uh, who have the same the, the name Abu Talha or Muhammad or Malkawi or Jilani or whatever name is this and then you start using your uh, mind to produce more knowledge to come up with a conclusion which can be useful for you whether to take knowledge from this brother or to avoid uh, controversial thoughts that could place someone in trouble if he or she will take the knowledge from this uh, this person uh, for example this is what the intelligence intelligent operations they will do they will uh, they will get a piece of information someone reported this brother is speaking about high level political thoughts which are related to economic policies political systems etc conducting the affairs of humans and people blah 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 oh so this becomes uh, uh, this information will be used by their method and the knowledge they produce is that this person should be banned from speaking on public for I'm just giving a real example here and of course the uh, these are the some of the tools which we use unexplored mind if the uh, ability to remember and retrieve information from the mind once you store it there then you will have lots of information and explored uh, or it could be 
partially explode, uh, explored, so you will not, you may not be able to produce the most relevant uh, uh, knowledge. If it's heavily explored, we're talking about the mind being explored. I explore my mind. I explore my brain. I explore the information stored within me. I explore the, the, the ways of correlating information and so on. So now, uh, this is actually an example. Uh, it's very interesting. I, when I was reviewing this lecture today, uh, I used this example uh, two years ago when when Biden and Putin met in Geneva. See, so check recent history, recent remark made by Putin and Biden. Uh, read article in Associated Press. Uh, and then produce the knowledge here out of this information which are related to world politics. Uh, if I use only the knowledge without processing it in the mind, I would say this is the wrong path. The path has to be with this, get me the knowledge, use the methodology which we are talking about, the producing of the thought, uh, generate the knowledge, then again, do the cycle until you come to a final conclusion. And the conclusion which we came up with during that course, which was actually July uh, 2021, there was a meeting that took place in June, on June 16th, 2021. And our conclusion was Biden or America wants to contain Russia, Biden and Putin want to become allies. So these are the, they become allies, but the end objective of Biden is to contain Russia so that it does not remain like a, a floating, uh, a floating wolf or lonely wolf in the world. That was then, and then the uh, later, one year later, uh, the Ukraine war and came to assert this conclusion. That's not my topic uh, tonight. I just made a reference to it because uh, we uh, we talked about that uh, two years ago. Uh, there are some controversies that people need to understand these controversies, for example, evolution or absolute creation. Uh, and you need to be able to come to uh, uh, to a conclusion and depending on what oops what type of methodology you use if you use the scientific methodology you will come to a certain uh, thought if you use the logic you come maybe to a different thought uh, in fact, if you use the logic, you may come to two contradicting. Uh, you can, with logic, you can uh, say, oh, uh, evolution is a fact. Or you can come to say, you know, if there is a creation with this. And with the science, the same. You will find uh, scientists who say, no, we are a result of evolution. Scientists who will say, we are absolute a creation. Now, the mind here, if you use the mind, the mental thinking, you will have to come up with one and only one solution which cannot be contradictive to, uh, which cannot arrive at the same thought and its uh, counterpart. Okay. Now, uh, moderator, before I proceed, tell me, uh, do we want to take five minutes break after five minutes so people can have a uh, sip of water or something in, uh, because two hours yeah, inshallah, that's of uh, inshallah. thinking not only talking about thoughts uh, are very uh, tiring I know some people have been working a lot during the day or maybe they are late at night like myself but so let me uh, in six minutes from now at 12 midnight my time we will take five minutes break if you allow me can we do that Yes, of course, inshallah. See, do I see yes or no? 
the majority are saying no or no one actually is yeah it's uh responding. up to basically the can you hear me all right okay okay yes 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 three yeses okay okay Oh, yeah, inshallah, however you right. want to okay. do this. So I, I, see, I see a good support five minutes break. This will be five minutes from now. So now I will uh, uh, briefly again, because uh, as I said, this is a, a review of uh, old lectures. What is mind, what is not? And here I collected some information uh, on uh, how people look at mind. Uh, in general, we can say, look, before we proceed, don't confuse mind with the brain. Brain is the tool. It's just like the hand. My hand is a tool. It's like my tongue. My tongue is a tool. But my speech is not my tongue. Uh, my pinch, like this, is not my hand. My hand is the tool that I use it to raise ob objects or to, uh, uh, to shake hands with people. That's a, a tool. So we have to distinguish between the brain and the mind. Mind is not the, the brain. Brain is the tool. Uh, mind is not the feeling. Feeling is emotion. It's a response to instinct. You know, when my instinct of survival includes my ability to fear, to have some fear, to be afraid. That's instinct. So when I am scared or I am afraid and or I am uh, trying to collect my courage all of this are either my feelings of my generated by my instincts or my response to my instinct uh, if I'm or, or my actual uh, physical need hunger my hunger is not the food my hunger is not the eating my hunger is an emotion that provokes me and pushes me to go and find some food, irrespective of what that food is. As long as it can uh, quell my hunger, that's w what it is. Uh, so it's not a revelation. Mind is not a revelation. It's not the wahi, because these are the things which we know that uh, sometimes uh, come up in the shape of knowledge. It's not the wahi. Mind is the one that can accumulate the wahi and then uh, from there the knowledge will be uh, propagated or uh, used in, in real life so the definitions of mind so far in the world at large they were either vague or unfounded there are no reasoning behind it or maybe irrelevant in fact irrelevant to the whole process of thinking uh, now, the most serious attempts of mind definitions, other than the recent definitions which we propose, were by uh, Hegel and Marx. Hegel, the idealist, the one who, whose ideas produced uh, capitalism, and Marx, whose ideas produced the uh, socialism and communism. These are serious attempts. To define mind but they, they, they could not arrive at the conclusion not because they are weak thinkers but because they were biased they, they wanted a definition that suits their objective so they already have an objective within their uh, within their thoughts not with their thinking process then they came to define the mind that can be in line with what they have already in their brains, in their minds, in their, uh, in their life, in their ambitions, in their objectives they have decided to have. So that's uh, their problem is there. Otherwise, they could have arrived uh, at, the, uh, uh, at the correct thing. Now, someone is saying, okay, if uh, the brain is the tool, then what's the mind? Actually, that's what I'm trying to come up. What is, what is mind? What's thinking? Uh, I will come uh, to it. But let me see our Muslim scholars. Muslim scholars in the past, they have addressed uh, millions of issues. 
in the fiqh, in the policies, in the politics, in thinking, in thoughts. Uh, and they were actually, many of them tried to find a, a, a good definition of what mind is. Al-aql, in Arabic they call it al-aql. What is al-aql? What is this entity? Uh, and they contributed, but nevertheless, we claim that uh, they were somehow impacted by the status quo, uh, previous Greek philosophers, or maybe some of their own uh, uh, thoughts. But anyway, some, some of the scholars, in fact many of them, they have three definitions of mind. One of them is called the instinct, so they said it's an instinct, غريزه. It is something embedded within the, within the body. That's what mind is. Some, they said it's a vision. It's a vision that, uh, that is implanted in your self as a human. Somebody implanted you a vision that you can see things and you can produce knowledge. But, uh, and this is very vague. Uh, and then some of them, they said, it's the understanding. Uh, but the understanding, actually, it's the, uh, uh, it's the product or the result of thinking. So uh, let me uh, finish this slide, and then I will stop here. Uh, among the most prominent scholars who talked about mind uh, extensively was Al-Harith Al-Muhasibi. If somebody wants to check that, have, has an interest in this subject beyond what we are talking about here, you can uh, Google uh, Imam Al-Harith Al-Muhasibi and you look at his uh, articles and uh, booklets, The Mind, he has The Mind, It's Reality and Variations of Understanding. The title is excellent. Title is excellent, but actually it does not uh, provide you with the uh, with the absolute correct understanding or distinguish, distinguishing between mind, uh, thinking, instincts, uh, or reflections. So this is where we, I will stop right here. Give me five minutes. I will mute myself and uh, take my. Uh, video off for five minutes i will be here at 1207 inshallah i will see you